Hello, as promised, today I will start with Teram 8 at a process. I hope this at a diagram will help you understand better the use case as well as answering the question easily. So first of all, let's start with 2 million vehicle with sensor which send the data to data center from 200 megabyte to 500 megabyte each day, expecting growth of 20% per year. It will send data by two ways. Number one is real-time streaming which only subset of that, and second is the batch compared upload, which will happen by the end of the day. In the data center, there will be a legacy inventory and logistic management. Teram Earth already set up the multiple interconnect to ZCB. I would like to highlight with you that the hybrid connection is critical topic for the architect exam, and there will be surely multiple questions around that. I will spend another video and share with you more information for that topic. In ZCP, there will be multiple products which will be used to serve the need for Teram Earth. There will be two main stakeholders which need access to ZCP. Number one is 500 dealer and service center around the world which need access to the web front end and custom API to perform their data analysis to understand the status of each vehicle. And there will be the developer, including internet and external, which need, who need to access to ZCP remotely to perform their development. Open. Let us start now to review how the requirement associated to this diagram. Number one, business requirement predict and detect vehicle malfunction and rapidly step part to dinner shift. This will require how fast uh, data will be sent to the vehicle quickly to ZCP as well as how efficient the analyst tool will support dealer to find out the information quickly. Second, degree cloud operational cost. For this, I will present you in the next slide. The next re six requirement, including three business and three technical, they all related to how to make developers fast and efficient to build up their developed workflow and not compromising with any security and governance requirement. And this will require you to have under a good understanding of the CI and CD. Finally, there are three technical requirements. They will associate with some product within DCB itself. For requirement two, to decrease cloud operational cost or reduce any cost in general, I can give you some example which could have good display in your exam. For computing, uh, you can select serverless product, for example, to up engine over compute engine. When restart is not an issue, then you can definitely use preemptible products. For dev test environment, where it's used only within business hour and free outside business hour, then you can start using auto scaling. So what next? We will present to you the use case EHL Healthcare soon. This is completely new use case of Google Architect exam. So please subscribe to our channel to get notified about the new video. Thank you.